Hi students. Now I would like to write a code. Okay. So if I enter a number, I would like to add one to each number. Like here, for example, if I enter four to nine. Okay. After adding the one to the number nine, the result is ten. And after adding the one to the number two, is result is three. After adding the one to the number four, the result is five. So like this, this is the my input and this is the my output. Okay, fine. Let's see the logic here. What is the logic? I need to identify the each individual digit. For that digit, just you write the number. Okay. Fine. So what is the number I am taking here? Four to nine. That was you. And equal to n value is the four to nine. Next, temp equal to n. Means temp is also four to nine here. And some value is zero here. Then it checks the condition. n is how much 429 is greater than 0 yes the condition is the true next you find out the remainder remainder equal to n percentage 10 just you divide this 499 by 10 so 42 420 the remainder is 9 so write 9 here this is over next after adding the 1 to percentage d After adding the one to percentage d means remainder to nine is remainder plus one. So for the every remainder, just you add the plus one is remainder plus one is nothing but a ten. Okay. So for the first digit for the nine, it is printed. Then after that, so this is also over. Next, n equal to n by ten. N equal to n by ten means the I get the coefficient. So coefficient value is how much here? Forty two. So Now the n value is forty-two. After execution of all these statements, where it comes? It comes to the this condition part. Now the value of n is forty-two. Forty-two greater than zero? Yes, true. Then remainder equal to n percentage ten. Now you divide ten. So ten four forty. Now the remainder is the two. Okay. So remainder is the two. Now after adding one two, what is the value of the remainder now? Two is two plus one. I think what a three will be printed. Okay, fine. Next, n equal to n by ten. So nothing but I get the value n equal to four now. Again goes to the condition. Now the value of n is now four. Four greater than zero. Condition true. Remainder equal to n percentage ten. Now for the number four, okay. So remainder is the four. Remainder equal to now four. After adding the one to percentage d, nothing but the remainder for the four is remainder plus one five, okay. Then n equal to n by ten. This step means also n value is the now zero. So n value is zero now. Zero greater than zero, this condition is false. Terminate the while loop. Okay, fine. And see here, I don't require the sum variable actually. This is not at all required. You no need to initialize this sum. And do I need temp? Temp is also not required. Just execute it. So again, four twenty nine. Okay. 
so this is how do i work with the loops to solve the different problems here